Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Let's see. This person's overall stance, we have Eight of Swords, Devil in Reverse. If this is a new person, they may be releasing themselves from some sort of toxic situation in their past. But for others of you, this was someone who was obsessed with you. Um, they thought about you non-stop. Um, you consume their thoughts. And that is what they're working to release here. Um, this person has a lot of fears, anxieties. I see it all throughout their energy. But the beautiful part about this is, as I say that, Eight of Swords uh, upright. Yeah, they, they're they trying to release themselves from these chains. Um, they may have felt addicted to you in some way. We have Nine of Swords in the moon here in their energy, but it's in reverse. Yeah, so they're fighting a lot of their inner demons, it seems. But let's clarify, why is Eight of Swords in reverse here for this person on Leo's mind? Emperor, yeah, they're regaining control over their thoughts, their emotions, you know? Eight of Swords is, a Nine of Swords is sort of letting your mind run wild. And it's not with the most positive thoughts either, right? Why is the devil in reverse here? They have control over some of their toxic habits, um, behaviors, patterns, I'm not sure. Four of Swords, Metrician, yeah. Definitely, look at their energy, very empowered. We have Emperor, a Magician, Four of Swords. Some of you, um, you'll know this intuitively. This person may be playing games with you where they, they're on it again, off again when it comes to, they're not consistent with their communication. Um, it's because they want to have control over you in this situation. So they do, they may have this thing where they disappearing act um, to regain control. This person has control issues because of what they went through in the past. And I'm, if it's in regards to you, this you had full control over this person and they're afraid of getting back to that, back into that space. So it's all, they're operating from fear here. They may be on a break from you, and but I'm getting with the magician, it's more so to, um, it's playing a little bit of games with you. If they are not communicating. They want to. Your stance, we have death in reverse, strength upright. We have Scorpio and Leo, um, two major arcana in your energy. Well, your, it's Scorpio, so you're having a difficult time emotionally. If things have ended, you don't want this, or you're having a hard time releasing this, or adjusting to some sort of change between the both of you. And you're doing your best, regardless of what you're feeling emotionally, you're holding back. You're restraining yourself with strength. And you're holding back is your energy. Why is death in reverse here for Leo? Yeah, see, eight of cups. It's emotionally clinging to a situation, right? Having a hard time releasing. That is what I'm getting. You're still emotionally invested in the situation. But I'm not sure you're expressing much. Why is strength here? I apologize if I was moving the mic. Sometimes I forget. Why is strength here? Not the mic, sorry, the camera. Why is strength here for you? Oh, I forgot that. Sorry. Um, eight strength is your card, Leo. So what this tells me when a sign comes through upright in their own energy, you're strong enough. Um, you have it together. It's not that you're letting the situation impact you to such an extent that your life is falling apart. No, that's not the case. But there's some residual energy here that you're still holding on to. It can be a grudge, Scorpios, right? And strength can be a little bit of ego. So those of you that will think, I'm not holding on to this person emotionally, it can be something that happened in the past if it's resonating. Strength is clarified by tower. There was either a separation, a sudden ending, something that happened here that, which is why death in reverse, it feels like there's some sort of unfinished business here, but it was faded with the wheel of fortune was meant to be. The, how things are right now is how they were meant to be. Tower can also be falling apart um, emotionally, right? 
where you're you're feeling one way one day you're feeling um another way and you know it's feeling chaotic um there's upheaval when it comes to your emotions but you wouldn't be able to tell with strength because strength is sort of triumphing over the tower in a way those around you may not be able to tell how you're feeling you're doing you're trying to control um, your reaction your expressions just the way you appear you're coming through as very strong and you're trying to tame that inner beast with that tower Why strength here for Leo? And some of you, you're holding back from... I had strength in reverse and page of cups in reverse. Um, you may be holding back from reaching out to this person or expressing something you've wanting to say. You're restraining some sort of emotion here is what I'm getting. Um, it can be anger, frustration, love, sadness. What are you trying to repress here? You would know. How they're viewing you, Four of Swords in Reverse, Chariot Upright. So they may view you as confused, restless, um, you wanting to revisit the situation or you wanting to come back around to them. Why is Four of Swords in Reverse here for how this person is viewing Leo? Why is Four of Swords in Reverse here? High Priestess. Yeah, they feel that you're secretly yearning for them. You want to come back around to them. Some of you may have been committed to this person, Queen of Pentacles. And others of you, if there's no contact, they're assuming things, right? They don't know what you're up to, but they may be thinking that you want to come back to them. Why is Chariot here? for how they're viewing. Some of you may be at a distance or traveling. Why is Chariot here for how they're viewing Leo? Yeah, they're seeing that you want to travel towards them, um, that there's, that emotional connection is still there. They feel it, which is why the Two of Cups was at the bottom of the deck, right? They feel, or you both may feel, things are mutual. How you feel is how the other person feels, right? They're viewing you as someone who wants to move things forward with them, travel towards them, and you don't want to be separate. And that you may ignore your feelings, but you do have feelings for them. That is sort of where they're at. How are you feeling, Leo? I'm curious. I, I want this deck for how you're feeling. How is Leo feeling about this person on their mind? Your overall stance, I was getting a little bit about your feelings, but it was more so talking about you unable to let something go. Strong squirts in your arms. How is or will Leo be feeling? Yeah, there's distance, separation, perhaps even heartache with the Three of Swords. We have Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands in reverse. It's a little bit of pessimism. You're not seeing how this can work. Some of you have given up on this situation. Um, you may think about it here and there, but you're not committing to the situation as your feelings. Okay, uh, Justice in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse is this person's feelings it's almost wanting to revisit the crime scene feeling that things didn't end the way they should if there has been an ending maybe making an apology why is justice in reverse here for how this person's feeling about leo nine of pentacles in reverse Very few of you, this person has to go get a divorce. Um, they're carrying the burden of another relationship that is getting in the way here. Um, but they don't want to be sneaky, cheaty, cheating, just you know, deceptive in their behavior. They don't want that. They if if they did you wrong, Leo, they're carrying guilt here. And they're still, you know, if given there isn't another situation in the mix, 
there's codependency here, which in their overall stance they didn't want, right? They were trying to regain control over their life, their emotions, their thoughts. But there is, they're having a hard time moving forward if they've done you wrong, there's guilt. Why is Seven of Swords in reverse here? For Yeah, some of you, there is cheating within a commitment or they feel tied to some sort of situation, marriage, commitment, I'm not sure. There's a lot of confusion, disappointment, not knowing where they're headed, where things are. Why is Seven of Swords in reverse here for how this person's feeling? Someone may have been rejected here or there was a missed opportunity and this person wants to come back around, hermit in reverse and express something with the Page of Cups. Express emotion. What is, I'm confused here. I'm not sure why I'm confused is, is this person in another commitment? If not, this person is wanting to work on things with you and bring you stability. They're wanting to put in the work. They don't want to be apart from you. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, let me put it this way. Ace of Pentacles was trying to flip through. A new beginning with you, perhaps. For a lot of you, this person's wanting to put in the work. They may have been avo avoiding you, some sort of responsibility here. They want commitment with you. They want to come together with you. Right? They want stability. They want to put in the effort they weren't doing in the past, which was keeping things a bit one-sided. But they're having a hard time releasing you. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want to be single apart from you. Right, That is what I'm getting. Others of you, there is this person is committed elsewhere. They have a husband, wife, or commitment. And they feel stuck there. And there's guilt. If this person has done you wrong, they want to apologize. They may not straight out, you know, I'm sorry, but they're feeling, they're carrying this burden, this guilt on their back, right? So a lot of regret is what I'm getting if they have put you in a third party, Leo. What action they'll take towards you? We have Page of Cups, Judgment. They want to reach out to you. They will be sending you a message expressing some sort of emotion. I've been getting that for you quite a bit, which is interesting. I have Judgment at the bottom of this deck as well. So judgment is usually revisiting the past. I said they wanted to come back to the crime scene here in their feelings. So yeah, expect a message. It's something small, innocent, sweet. Maybe even apology for some of you. I don't know if I need to clarify this, but I'll get one. Why is Page of Cups here? For what action? Yeah, they're off. Ooh, okay. Yeah, they, they're offering you love. They're offering you emotion. They're expressing their love. To you, this person has unconditional love for you. They do. They may not show it, Emperor Magician, but they beneath that is this Queen of Cups, a very soft, generous heart. Why is judgment here? Yeah, Ace of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Some of you, this may be new love. You have no idea what I'm talking about, but they. Look at all this love. We have Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. This person's very excited for this opportunity with you. It's almost embarking on a new journey. Some of you, they're waiting for the perfect time to express themselves to you. The obstacle between the both of you, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Wands in reverse. Thing about the situation that is on again, off again. This person, especially if they have to give to another situation, they feel torn so they can't you know completely focus on this situation something has this person feeling very tied down restricted and i'm not sure it'll be different for each one of you um i listen to your intuition but there's also some sort of codependency here
Why is Nine of Pentacles in reverse the obstacle here? King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you can be financial issues, but we have the King of Pentacles in reverse paired with the Queen of Pentacles upright. The obstacle here is it's stuck with the Knight of Wands because it, one or both of you is unable to move on from this situation, but also unable to give completely. You know, there's no stability or commitment here. And then that is coming through as an obstacle or it can be one person feeling they don't have enough to offer. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here as an obstacle? Whoa, did you see how that flipped through us like this? And it can be indecision, one foot in, one foot out. Because Seven of Pentacles upright is looking at a situation and seeing if it's worth putting more effort into, right? You're sort of undecided. And here it's, it's almost, should I give up? Should I put more time into this? So it's wishy-washy back and forth. And one person can be selfish or very... Ugh consumed with their work and responsibilities with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Your outcome, Leo, we have Page of Swords, Magician in reverse. Both of these talk about communication, and in reverse, there is no communication. You're not putting in the effort to make this work. You're not manifesting this, or you don't have faith. We did have Three of Wands in reverse for your feelings. You're not seeing how this can work for some reason. Why is Page of Swords in reverse here for Leo's outcome? To a, <laughs> this may be you with the Seven of Pentacles. You may be investigating or watching this person. Um, but you're watching them because you're confused, perhaps. Um, whether you want to carry this forward or not. Or this may have been you in the past where you're confused and you're choosing to sort of withdraw not really pursue this why is magician in reverse you're not going out of your way to make anything happen leo is what i'm getting why is magician in reverse here for leo's outcome oh some of you there may be distance so you feel a bit powerless you can't do anything to make this work there's compassion and there's love here right they have both yeah, there's a lot of love here. Wise magician. And it's mutual. Others of you where you know you don't you don't want this person, you there's nothing you want nothing to do with them. You have new love coming in after you put things to a halt with this individual. Right? Page of Pentacles chariot. You're not moving forward, you're not investing, and you have a new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups. So it really depends on what you're manifesting. But regardless of what you're manifesting, this person does want to offer you their cup of love and they're wanting to give to this. So I'm not sure. I, I'm curious to know how this person messaged you because I'm getting this strongly in all of your readings. And those of you that have been watching, you know. But it also can be some of you, you're looking for new love. There may be new love coming in as well. It's faded meeting, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups. But there's also an element of divine timing here. For this person's outcome, Nine of Swords, Moon and River. So they're coming out of anxiety. Or they're fighting their fears. Why is Nine of Swords in reverse here for this person's outcome? This person's playing games to protect themselves, but they can have a strong ego here as well. Magician, Emperor, Five of Swords. They're unwilling to budge my way or the highway. It's all about me. I don't care who I hurt. World in reverse, but we have unfinished business. I want to make things right. What is this person doing? Why is nine? Oh, okay. Sorry. 
Um, perhaps this was their past energy. They're not wanting conflict now is what it's saying. Um, they're wanting to move past whatever this was. Control issues, arguments. Why is moon in reverse here? Why is moon in reverse here? Sometimes I talk um, before I should. <laughs> And then the cards totally change the interpretation, right? Hmm, three major arcana in their energy. Moon, Fool, and Death. They're stuck, Leo, in their outcome because they're mirroring you here. We had Death in reverse in your energy. They're not taking that leap towards you. See, they're coming towards you and they're giving you little. They're giving you emotions. They're having a hard time letting you go, but they're also having a hard time trusting the situation. Yet they want stability, they have love for you. What is happening here? Emotions are there, they want to give you stability, but what is missing is the wands, right? The action. Where's the action? A lot of you, if you've given up, it can be they have no choice, which is why I'm getting confused here. Hey Leo, let's see if these can give us, yeah, fear is blocking connection, it's in this person's energy, but you are also holding back with strength, <laughs> as I say that mirroring you, yeah, there's strong mirroring going on here. Ooh, okay. We have preparing for union and paired with you will be rewarded. I'll get you two more of you. So things may be a bit a divine mission together. Positive cards. Love to the beautiful. But we also have falling out of love. Slow but steady progress. This may have been past. I'm not getting that right now. This is what is happening. We had two of cups upright. If the falling out of love, it may be your energy. Because you were sort of, I don't know, not fully invested with magician. Right? As I said, you weren't doing anything to make this work. But they were expressing love to you. This can go um, forward if that is what you want, Leo. And these are very, we not only have divine mission, we have preparing for union. Let's get intention in situation for you, regardless of what happens. Yeah, okay. I'm a bit immature, but I'm a dreamer and capable of deep feelings. Let's have some fun flirting with each other. Yeah, so if it's a newer connection, they're coming to you with the Page of Cups. Yeah, look, I'm I'm going to just let it all out and stop overanalyzing things. Yeah, they're Eight of Swords in reverse. They overthink things. But there is something about this person's ways um, that they come through as immature. I'm removing toxic relationships out of my life to be with you. This is what I was getting. I'm going to give you a taste of your own medicine. They may hold back communication to get back or have some sort of control over the situation. Remember visit, revisiting the crime scene? I'm going to sneak back into your life and pretend nothing ever happened. I know I'm a coward. It's up to you, Leo. Some of you will be cutting off communication and you have new love coming in. Some of you will choose to work on things with this person. Ooh, would you mind spending the rest of your life with me? I'm convinced you're the one for me. I don't think sorry is going to be enough. I'm planning to surprise you with something better. Let's go out for a drink. Careful not to have regrets next morning. Wow, I'm ready to build on a more solid foundation. Blocked by fears. And didn't we have fears getting in the way? Amazing. Oh. Sorry, I get excited, but it's amazing if that is what you want, right? I get excited for you, but it's 
I don't even know if that is what you want. <laughs> but I was seeing new love for some of you if you don't want this. As I said, it's a win-win situation. 